Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the Purchases Order Preparation options. Before we begin, let us understand about the need of Purchases Order Entry and the relevance of this particular activity. Purchase Order is a formal commitment placed upon by one party to another with all the relevant terms and conditions stated in such order to help govern and facilitate the closure of transaction for purchase. When you place a purchase order upon a vendor, you would want to ensure its timely execution and purchase order helps clarifying the accountability at either end. Accurate record of purchase order also helps you tracking your expected cash liability so there is no credibility exposure in play. After all, prices of a product are more or less directly related to the payment terms and past deals of a vendor with an entity. You can create a purchase order under Purchases module of Align Books. The key functions of Purchase Order module are Creation of a new purchase order Modification of an existing purchase order Deletion of an existing purchase order Configuration Align Books provides you the facility to configure your purchase order documents with respect to choice of maintaining multiple series of documents choice of sending email and SMS on creation or edit or approval of the document and for approval system settings, etc. Click on Configuration to configure this document. Let's now understand how to create a new purchase order in simple steps. You have three ways to prepare a purchase order. Enter fresh data for the first time. Open an existing document and use the copy feature of Align Books to make the necessary changes. This will save your time and efforts. If you have data in an Excel format, import data and make the required changes. Let's enter the fresh set of data for the first time. Location. If you are handling multi-locations, select the required location from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-location on, in, configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Create new location. If your desired location does not exist in the menu, you can create a new location by clicking on the pencil icon or on the plus option within the drop-down menu. Edit or delete location. You can also edit or delete a location from here. Select a location to be edited or deleted and then click on the pencil icon. The location will be opened in edit mode and you can edit it and save by clicking on save. You can delete it by clicking on delete. Category. If you are classifying your document in different categories, select the applicable category from the drop down menu. This field is available only if you have configured Document Classification, On, In Configuration, then Company Setup, then Purchase Setup, then Basic. You can add, edit or delete a category by following the process described under Location tab. Vendor. Select a vendor from the drop-down menu for whom you are preparing the order. You can add, edit or delete a vendor by following the process described under the Location tab. Email. The system will automatically pull the email ID from the vendor master. If you wish to change the same for this document, you can do that here. Currency. If you are placing an order in a foreign currency, select a currency from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-currency on, in, configuration, then company setup, then general setup. If your desired currency does not exist in the menu, you can add a new currency by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Conversion rate. The system will automatically get the conversion rate from the currency master if already created by you. If you wish to change the currency conversion rate for this particular document, you can do the same here. Order date. 
enter the order date which you wish to reflect in the document. By default, the system will take the current date. You can also pick a different date by just clicking on the calendar function. Order number, prefix. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual prefix, select a prefix from the drop-down list. If the required prefix does not exist in the list, you can create a new prefix by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Number. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual numbering, enter a document number here. Ref number. Here you may enter the vendor's document reference number or previous document number, if any. Say if you had got a written estimate from your vendor, you can give the reference number of that estimate. Ref date. Here you may enter the reference document's date. You can also pick a date by just clicking on the calendar function. Agent. If an agent or broker is involved in this procurement, select an agent or broker from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured agent-wise billing on in configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. If the required agent or broker does not exist in the menu, you can create a new one by clicking on pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Tax. Select inclusive from the drop-down menu if rates are inclusive of taxes or else select exclusive. This field is available only if you have configured tax applicable in sales or purchase on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Also, this field will be active only if you have configured tax in rates document based in configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. Billing address. The system will trace and autofill the billing address GST number and contact person details automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. Shipping address. The system will trace and autofill the shipping address automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. Payment term. The system will trace and autofill the payment terms from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. If the required payment term does not exist in the menu, you can create a new payment term by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Pull from. This field is used to import data from the parent document. Upon selection, a list of parent documents will be on display. If there is no parent document linked, this option will be shown as disabled. Look up. This option will work like a barcode. If you enter an item code, the system will pick up the relevant details automatically. So far, we have entered the relevant details to clearly identify the vendor and the purchase order. We will now enter the specific item or product details to generate a purchase order. Plus, click here to add a row to the table. X. Click here to delete a row from the table. Item code. Select an item code from the drop-down list. Click on the plus to add a new item. Description. The system will fill the description details automatically from the item master. Unit. The system will fill the unit details automatically from the item master. Quantity. Enter the item quantity here. Rate. The system will pick the rate from the item rate master. If you are not maintaining a rate master and have entered rate in your item master, it could be picked from there as well. Alternatively, you will have to enter the rate manually. Amount. The system will calculate the amount automatically, i.e. with multiplication of quantity times rate. Posting GL. If you have created purchase ledgers item-wise, the system will automatically fetch the GL selected by you in the item master. Posting GL. If you have created purchase ledgers item-wise, the system will automatically fetch the GL selected by you in the item master. Remark. If you wish to put any remark against an item, enter here. Item balance. The system will display the stock in hand of this particular item. 
The table is dynamic and many extra columns in the table would appear based on your configuration in company setup. If you set up these fields, you will need to enter relevant values in columns created for each item row. The columns which will appear based on configuration in company setup are Column, tax code, will appear if General setup, then tax applicable in sales or purchase, on Tax rate, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on Taxable, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on Tax amount, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on Pack unit, inventory, then basic setup, then separate packing unit, on. Pack quantity, inventory, then basic, then separate packing unit, on. Print description, inventory, then basic, then separate print description, on. Item serial number, inventory, then item extended property, then item serial number, tracking. On batch number, inventory, then item extended property, then batch wise inventory. On service date, inventory, then service, then input service date. On service location, inventory, then service, then service location. On user defined item wise changes, purchases setup, then billing setup, then item level. User defined item attributes 1 to 5. Inventory, then item attributes, required. Remark. Input here any remark pertaining to the document. Attachment. Here you may upload any supporting documents which can be used for the future reference. For example, you may scan and attach a copy of the estimate received from the vendor. You can browse the location to attach the same. Click on the X to remove the attachment. User defined fields. During the purchases setup, purchases setup, then purchases custom fields. If you have any selected user defined fields, these will appear with the caption provided by you for these extra fields. You may enter the relevant values or data in the applicable field. Purchases value. The system will calculate the total item purchases value based on the data filled in the table during the creation of a purchase order and will display here. User defined extra charges or discounts. Item level. During company configuration, purchases setup, then billing setup, then item level. If you have defined item wise charges or discounts, etc., the system will calculate the total item extra value based on the data filled in the table during the creation of a purchase order and will display here. Taxable. This represents the total taxable purchases value of all the items, auto calculated by the system. Tax amount. This represents the total tax amount for all the items auto-calculated from the items mentioned in the table. User-defined extra charges or discounts, document level. If you have set to have any extra charges or discount on document level, purchases set up, then billing set up, then document level, these will appear here with the caption given by you. You can enter relevant values against each item. Round off. Depending on the round off level selected by you, your document will be rounded off and the round off difference, rounded value, actual value, will be shown here. This field will not be available if you have configured round off none in configuration, then company setup, then purchase setup, then basic. Order amount. This represents the total order amount. Click on save to save the document prepared by you. Click on print to print the document prepared by you. If you want to send an email or SMS, click on more icon beside mail and click on email or SMS. Clear. Before clicking this option, make sure that the data entered is no more required by you. 
the moment you click on this option, the system will erase all the data and give you an empty screen to enter fresh data. Import. Click on Import to import data and select a file from which data is to be imported. Schedule. If you want to create a schedule for this document, click on Schedule. You have completed creation of new purchase order. Open. Click here to open an existing purchase order. Copy. Click here to copy the values from an existing purchase order. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a call for further help. Happy aligning!